Obama puts Trump on the spot with Russia sanctions, Trump's acquiescent attitude towards anything having to do with Russia and its president, Vladimir Putin, is so baffling, so dismissive of American institutions and arguably of the country's interests, that it has become the most corrosive point of contention between Trump and members of his own party. Already in October, Washington formally blamed Russia for the attacks. Russia denied involvement, but U.S. intelligence services said they were confident of Russia's role, confirming what private firms had already concluded. If Russia had collected the emails to gain intelligence it would be a different matter. What Russia did was weaponize that information and detonate it with calculated timing to alter the election. The former acting CIA director Mike Morrill was not exaggerating when he called Russia's actions an existential threat to our way of life and the political equivalent of 9-11, even as the Trump team termed the charges laughable. Obama's new executive order not only lashes out at Russia, it does something more important. It places the onus on Trump. They were speaking from Latvia, a country that lived under Moscow's domination until the fall of the Soviet Union and now fears a newly emboldened Russia, as do other independent countries that were once part of the USSR. But Trump's position when it comes to Russia has been steadfast. These are his insights on the national security issue and Russia's involvement. I think that computers have complicated our lives very greatly. The whole age of computer has made it where nobody known exactly what's going on. As it happens, we have a pretty good idea what's going on with Russia and its interference in Western democratic elections. The issue of U.S. relations with Russia, particularly in the aftermath of the election hacking has the potential to bring Putin into direct confrontation with Republicans in Congress, some of whom were already calling for sanctions even before Obama acted. Mm -hmm.